Oh my God, I'm going to show you a video here. I'm going to show you a video. You are going to love it. And I'm not going to tell you what it's about yet for a reason. But I will tell you a couple things about what you're about to see. The man you're about to see is a guy named John Wilkerson, who is the pastor of First Baptist Church of Hammond, Indiana. Earlier in this live stream, I talked about independent fundamental Baptist churches that are the focus of Let Us Pray, the docuseries. Well, First Baptist Church of Hammond, Indiana is like the king of all IFB churches. John Wilkerson is their pastor. He's also chancellor of Hiles Anderson College, which is where all those IFB Christians go to school. And recently, John Wilkerson issued an apology. Uh, and it mean when this guy puts out a public apology, it's a big deal because he's a powerful voice in the IFB movement. And I'm not going to tell you what his apology is about, but I want you to watch it first, and then we will talk about it. Hello, friends. Thank you for giving me just a few minutes of your time by way of this video. Recently, we had a creation seminar hosted here at First Baptist Church of Hammond. With all my heart, what I wanted to do is to educate and equip and empower God's people to face and to give ammunition for the fallacies of evolution and humanism that permeates our society. Though that was my goal, I, I grieve to tell you that I probably did not uh, make the best decisions in many arenas. I failed to screen properly what was going to be said or shown in some ways. And uh, I think I hurt many people. I agree that I embarrassed the First Baptist Church family for 136 years been serving Christ and staying by the stuff. I think for the Hiles Anderson College students and the men and women who have sent their students here, I, if I sent an uncertain sound, I apologize and I sincerely ask your forgiveness. I don't want to cause a distraction and I certainly don't want to be divisive. In a world that needs the gospel, we want to keep on putting out soul winners and disciples to keep getting the gospel to the next generation to come so they can put their hope in God. But I would like to just say, please forgive me. But also, I want to say thank you for the many folks who have loved us and stayed faithful to pray that God would give us wisdom and help and strength to keep going. I plead with you, pray that God will help me make good decisions and that the Lord... I'm going to stop there um, because you heard all the important stuff, but let me just highlight a couple things Wilkerson said there. He said we had a creation seminar hosted at the church uh, because he wanted to spread creationism. And he said, and I'm quoting here, I grieve to tell you that I probably did not make the best decisions in many arenas. I failed to screen properly what was going to be said or shown in some ways. And I think I hurt many people. I grieve that I embarrassed the First Baptist Church family. He also said, I apologize. I sincerely ask for forgiveness. I don't want to cause a distraction, and I certainly don't want to be divisive. So here's my question to all of you. What the hell happened at the creation seminar that made this dude, a powerful dude, issue a public apology for failing to, like, vet what happened there or screen what was going to be said? Like, what the hell could have happened? Did someone acknowledge that the Earth was older than 6,000 years old? Did a speaker accidentally affirm science? Was a woman allowed to speak somewhere? Like, what was it that happened that he is so distraught about? And the thing is, we know what happened. because. And the reason he's even making this apology is, uh, I'm going to share this with you here. There was There's this website. Uh, let me pull this up. There we go. And uh, it's from a place called, it's from a website called Old Paths Journal, an online Christian paper that promotes the old paths. Like they're very old fashioned. They like their women in the kitchens, apparently. That's their thing here. And the guy's, the writer here is Alan Domel. And he said, we, uh, they accept compromise. They compromised on this creation seminar. And so I'm going to show you what they're mad about in a second. Uh, and let me see. Here we go. The issue, and you can see this here. Look at the man on the right, right above my head 
in, on your screen, because this guy is one of the speakers who spoke at the creation seminar that took place at the Christian college recently. And do you see anything wrong with this man? And the answer is, well, he's not dressed in a suit. He seems very casual. He seems like your local neighborhood youth pastor. Um, and you can see his hair is long and all that. And that's it. That's the whole controversy. That's what this is all about. That's why that dude had to apologize. And this is what the critic, this is what this guy wrote. These men were not Baptists and do not claim to be Baptists. In fact, one is a member of a Reformed church and another claimed from their pulpit that he is a Methodist. On Sunday evening, I received a text from a pastor with a picture that showed a long-haired hippie teaching in the pulpit of FBC Hammond. Then I received multiple calls from preachers about how they were told that the NIV was used on slides and indecency in some of the slides. I don't know what the indecency is about. I am sickened by this as I am not for compromise of any sort. So just to be clear, they had a creation seminar and uh, several men who were creationists spoke from the pulpit at the church and to the students at the IFB affiliated college about why creationism, young earth creationism is true. But I guess one of them's a Methodist or not part of an IFB church. That's a problem. And also that dude spoke and he has very long hair and how dare he. And apparently when they were quoting the Bible in their slideshow, they quoted the NIV Bible and not the King James Bible, which is the only Bible if you're an IFB member. And this dude is sickened by it. He goes on to say, first, a long here, he's going through the problems one by one. First, a long haired hippie teaching in the pulpit is in direct contradiction to scripture. I don't know anything about this man, but I do know that to have long hair is a shame. It does not matter what he was going to teach. The fact that he blatantly disobeys God word, God's word should have alerted anyone to his spiritual discernment and that he is disqualified to teach people. This man has never seen a painting of Jesus, has he? Because I've never seen Jesus with a buzz cut. But apparently this man's long hair, and oh, you could see it in the picture right there in the uh, upper left of your screen. Like that man has long hair. And he thinks he can teach to other people as if he's an authority. That's a reason this guy was mad. Then he went on. A member of a reformed church has no business teaching in a Baptist pulpit. A self-proclaimed Methodist obviously is doctrinally wrong on baptism, the local church, and likely on salvation. It doesn't matter if these men are good men. They are doctrinally wrong and have no right to speak in a Baptist pulpit. Like, God, the purity test of these people is wild. At some point, you must be willing to withdraw from people who are disorderly in their doctrine, much less their practice. Not only should these men not have been allowed to teach because of their doctrine, but also because of their practice. We practice dressing with our best for church because God deserves our best. To allow these men to teach in blue jeans, the horror and polo shirts, as if this is a golf club, is simply a total disrespect of God's word, his church, and his way. I mean, look at this man with his long hair and his polo shirt and glasses just hanging like he's a substitute teacher in English class. The horrors. I need to remind people who weren't around earlier in this live stream that one of the other stories we talked about was the whole docu-series on investigation discovery about IFB churches and how these churches are hotbeds of sexual abuse. And they just have so many predatory pastors and so many victims left in the dust. And what is this dude, Alan Domel, mad about? That these men are Methodists and have long hair. And you guys, we, we are doing what's best because God deserves our best. Predators in suits and short hair are fine, but creationists in polo shirts and long hair are blasphemous hippies. 
And again, I want to write this dude off as just some crank who just has a blog. Believe me, I know a lot about why people dismiss random dudes with blogs. I get it. But the fact that John Wilkerson, this leader in the IFP movement, had to put out a public apology where he's like, I let me go back to what he said. Think about what he said. I grieve to tell you that I probably did not make the best decisions. I failed to screen people. What was going to be said or shown? I think I hurt many people. I embarrassed the First Baptist Church family. I apologize and I ask for forgiveness. That guy had to issue a public YouTube apology like he's missing the ukulele and a shitty song. That's it. Otherwise, he's right there with the best of them. I it it is hilarious that this is a story. By the way, if you Google this and you search like creationism, long hair, uh, independent fundamental Baptist, you'll find so many stories about people be, uh, about this because so many Christians are like, dude, what the hell are you getting mad about? Think about this. They're not mad about the accuracy. They're not mad about the false science that is being preached, that it's not science at all. They're not mad like that the truth wasn't delivered. They're just mad about how these dudes look. And apparently they quoted the wrong Bible, which, by the way, if you don't know the difference, like the NIV, in my opinion, it's just it sounds a little more like how we all talk, whereas the King James Version is several hundreds of years old and it reads like Shakespeare. It's not fun to read. Uh, fun's the wrong word. But like the NIV just seems a little more casual. But they're like, that's why the NIV is no good for these uh, IFB people. And they only prefer the KJV. And that's way too many acronyms to be discussing here. Look, of all the things IFB leaders need to apologize for, and Wilkerson himself should be apologizing for, long-haired hippie dude is not one of them. And not that it matters, but like after he came out with that apology video, the, this guy who wrote the angry blog post, the angry dude in his basement who's very mad about the hippies, uh, he did. Uh, make one adjustment. Look at the top here, the note. On November 15th, Pastor Wilkerson apologized uh, to the church for the hurt it caused. I respect the apology and hope it is sincere. I do not apologize for what I wrote, so I'm going to leave it up. Like, man, catty, petty. I love it. This is the sort of stupid schism I live for. It's glorious. So uh, I don't know. No long haired creationists allowed. How do we do a whole creationism story and not even mention Ken Ham? I have no idea, but that's got to be a first.